My name is Luke, I am 15 years old, and my strange addiction is smelling socks. This addiction started when I was three years old. Uh, ever since I got my first smell of socks, I just couldn't stop. Uh, you might think it's strange, but I don't think anything bad will come of it. I never leave home without at least two spare socks on my person at all times. Luke's family has convinced him to see doctors for this disorder, but all have turned him away because apparently, smelling socks is not a true medical condition. Sometimes I'll just be sitting down like this and I'll get a craving, you know, and I just gotta... This is Jenna. Since six years old, dirt has been her comfort food. Hi, my name is Jenna, I'm 17 years old, and I'm addicted to eating dirt. Good morning, Granite Falls High School. My name is Michael Turpin. And I'm Luke Macumber, here with your first video announcements of the new month, March 3rd, 2017. Today, there is a one hour early release. Let's go check in with our fabulous Granite Now team. Here comes the sun, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. Soccer plays their first game on March 14th, while tennis has their first match on March 17th at home. Girls softball has a jamboree on March 10th, while boys baseball has a jamboree on March 9th at home. Tolo tickets go on sale next Wednesday, $15 with ASB and $20 without. Granite's Got Talent auditions are today and tomorrow. You can sign up for it at gfalstalent.org. Thank you, guys. So, Michael, do you have a date to Tolo? Nope. Hear that, ladies? I'm going solo to Tolo. Well, there's no shame in that. Tons of guys do it. Well, I hear the theme is Coachella. Let's go see more information on that. Secret admirer. Yeah. That's a, that's impressive. Yeah, that's good stuff, George. You ma you're making you're making waves. Get out of here. I'm gonna find out who the secret admirer is. Awesome. I can't wait to be asked. Hey Michael, do you have any talents? Well, I'm the best news anchor in GFHS. You are literally the only news anchor at GFHS. Exactly. Well, let's go check in with some people who have actual talents. Between the Bells recorded in front of a live studio audience. Dude, John, what's up, my man? <laughs> so did you hear about the talent show? Yeah, auditions are March 4th and 5th. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool, but I haven't touched my balls in a while. <laughs> Come on, dude, you're like the best juggler I know, man. I'm gonna say juggling, cause I think juggling is so cool. Yeah, I I juggle. Really? Well, yeah. I hope to see you at the talent show then. You too. I heard you were trying out for the talent show, nerd. Yeah, leave me alone. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. I'm mad. So sorry. Just a little advice for you. If you don't want to be a nerd for the rest of your life, don't. Try out for the talent show. Why so down, John? I don't know. I want to try out for the talent show, but I don't want everyone to call me a nerd. I think you should try out. Can I share a story with you? Oh, boy. <laughs> when I was your age, I wanted to try out for the basketball team to impress a girl. Did you make it? No. Did you get the girl? No. Then why are you so happy? Because when I was at the practice, my house burned down and I didn't die. I might have, had I not tried out. So you should try out for the talent show, because if you don't, you might die. Wow. 
Wow, I'm so thankful for the information that was just presented to me. And remember, auditions are today and tomorrow in the pack. Well guys, we got something new for you this week. You've seen them before, but never like this. Let's go see who's in the Pilchuck ER this time. In a brutal community where danger lurks around the corner, there are two professionals dedicated to saving the lives of our local citizens. Dr. McSteamy, Dr. McDreamy, and Janet R.N. The best and only medical team in the county. In the emergency room and out. Pilchuck ER. Pilchucker, a hardly newer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a few addiction appointments for you guys today. The first one's Luke. I'll send him in now. Thank you, Nurse John. Hello. Hi. I'm McDreamy. I'm McSteamy. Hi. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat? Okay, so what can you do to help? Well, typically this addiction is passed on through intimacy. But we're not really concerned with that with you, so uh, it's probably just genetic. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, 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 what do you mean I'm, you're not concerned? I'm giving you guys a fair warning. This next patient has a much more unusual condition. Please, we're medical legends. <laughs> Send him in, Nurse John. Wow, thank you so much. That was sensational. Well, guys, that's all we have for you this week. See you next time. Have a fun and safe weekend. Hi, my name is Max and I'm 17 years old and I'm addicted to ketchup. Doctors have said that if he doesn't get help, his natural scent is, and always will be, tomato concentrate. You know how people used lotion to moisturize their hands? Ketchup is my lotion. I just love the feeling of it on my skin. So warm, so soft, and the smell is just a plus, really. My name's Christian, and uh, apparently I'm addicted to gum. I go through like 12 packs a day. I wouldn't really say I'm an addict, um, but some people in Africa don't even have gum, so like, me chewing gum, does that really make me the bad guy? I, I don't think so. So do you have any gum on you? Uh, no sorry, I gave my last piece already. Ah, uh, that's okay, I'm just really fiending for a piece. Ew! What? Christian hit the denial phase of his addiction at about 14 years old, when his parents presented him an ultimatum. Them, or gum? Ultimately, he chose Hubba Bubba. Man, where's the garbage can? I really need to spit on my gum. You say gum, bro? No worries, right here. Look, I, I can quit anytime I want. It's, it's not an issue. Then why don't you? I said anytime I want to, uh, and I don't want to quit. <laughs>